I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Senate. The Senate debated Senate Bill 5385 concerning airport labor standards. The bill passed the Senate 3613, moving on to the House for consideration. This is a technical fix of a bill that we passed a couple of years ago, helping the Port of Seattle uh, uh, work with their um, contractors to make sure that everyone was getting the same minimum wage in the city of SeaTac, which, as you know, has a uh, individual uh, minimum wage for airport uh, operations. So at the request of the Port of Seattle, this technical fix will make that come true for the workers at the Port of Seattle. Also debated on the Senate floor was Senate Bill 5133, which updates the definition of a confidential employee for the purposes of state collective bargaining. The bill passed the Senate 3415, moving on to the House for consideration. This is a second technical fix bill from Labor and Commerce Committee. This bill addresses the exclusion of a group from the collective bargaining bill that we passed for the Attorney General's office last, last two years ago, actually. And this bill actually, in, group of the Attorney General's office voted, but were found after the vote to be excluded. Uh, this bill fixes that problem. It's always interesting that we find these little groups of people that have been excluded. And, uh, uh, you know, this bill just takes this group and, and uh, allows them to uh, collective bargain if, uh, if they so choose. Um, uh, one of these days, we're going to have this covered, so we don't have to have these bills before us. Uh, but it's here, and uh, uh, fortunately, the individuals have a choice. They're not mandated anymore that they have to, uh, and so it's up to each individual, and uh, I will be supporting this bill, but I can assure you there will be members on my side that will not be. Also debated was Substitute Senate Bill 5406 which would compensate tow truck operators who clear public roadways of abandoned vehicles. The bill passed the Senate 47-1, moving on to the House for consideration. It was brought to me by a local tow truck operator who's a small business owner in my district. And uh, it surprised me to find out that some, oftentimes he was dispatched by either the state patrol or local law enforcement and he would do the public a great service by hauling off a, a vehicle or hauling it out of a creek or something like that. And then only to get stuck, uh, not getting compensated because of issues with the insurance companies. Our tow truck operators are partners in the uh, transportation system and they help uh, not only get people to where they need to go, but goods. And, um, you know, we call on them a lot, not just us, but also cities and counties to ensure that our roadways are free and clear and safe. And it's only fair that when we ask them to do something and they do it, that they, they at least recover their costs. Some of these tow truck operators, um, the work they do is extensive. It's, it's the need for experience for and large equipment to, you know, pull things out of ravines or out of a creek bed or, you know, deal with uh, produce that's, you know, gone across the highway. It's, you know, we think of, of tow trucks and we think of the ones that help us with our vehicles, Mr. President, but, but these are tremendously, um, you know, very complex operations. These are the women and men that go out on a job that doesn't have a nine to five listing. This is a seven day a week, round the clock uh, line of work that they do. And at times incredibly dangerous. Um, looking at a bill like this, you often wonder what took the legislature so long to in fact enforce a remedy on behalf of these people. And finally, senators approved Senate Bill 5063 by a unanimous vote of 49-0, which concerns the expiration date of the Invasive Species Council. The bill now moves on to the House for consideration. Uh, this bill just uh, extends the uh, council uh, for another 10 years. It does a lot of valuable work on invasive species. Uh, I think uh, you look at the... Uh, mad hornets or mad bees, whatever they found up in Whatcom County. Uh, they work to prevent and inspect uh, vessels coming into the state or they coordinate that. 
with uh, working on the capital budget. If uh, certain invasive species ever do come into the state, it, it can cost uh, our capital budget tens of millions of dollars. Um, so this council and, and other work are, are working to prevent that and, and hopefully it will will uh, continue down that road. I know Senator Honeyford just mentioned vessel inspections. Um, one thing to, that I always find interesting is Idaho does vessel inspections and they find a few boats every year uh, that were uh, destined for Washington that have invasive species on them. So just thanking Idaho for that work and uh, hopefully this council will continue to do their work. Aquatic invasive species would be devastating to the hydro projects uh, along the Mid-Columbia River and many other um, structures. So I wholeheartedly support this. think it's a great bill and glad we're approving it today. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News covering the 2021 legislative session.